everyone welcome to the next session of finite element analysis in this session i am discussing about shape function in the previous session we have discussed about shape function but using rectangular coordinate system in this session we will talk about a new type of coordinate system which is called as natural coordinate system and we will see how we can transform an element from rectangular coordinate system to natural coordinate system now when we talk about usual coordinates which is my rectangular coordinate system this linear element ab will have one end as x is x1 this x1 can be say 0 and the other end is equal to x2 which can be say he like we had in the last problem he means the length of the element when you talk about natural coordinate system this is very simple it is not as complicated as rectangular coordinate system because in natural coordinate system you have only three numbers to be used 0 1 minus 1 so if you look carefully, this is the same node A and B which I have marked as A dash B dash. It was X over here, here I have taken zeta. Now zeta is always going to stand for the X axis and when I talk about Y axis, I am going to use the sign eta. So this is something which you can keep a note of. This is zeta, Z E T A. So one end is zeta is equal to minus 1 and the other end is zeta is equal to plus 1. Now we will see how to transform the coordinates from rectangular to natural coordinate system. So let me assume this x as a zeta plus b. This is my equation. Here at x is equal to x1, I will have zeta as minus 1. You can see over here. Therefore when I solve x1 is equal to minus a plus b. I mark this as equation 2. Then if I talk about x is equal to x2, at this point my zeta is equal to 1. When I substitute here, therefore x2 is equal to a plus b. This is my equation 3. Now if you look at a and b, if I add these two equations, I will have x1 plus x2 is equal to 2b. Therefore b is equal to x1 plus x2 by 2. Also, if I subtract x2 from x1, I mean subtracting 3 from 2, therefore I will have x1 minus x2. These both will go into negative. So, this will be minus 2a and these two will get cancelled out because of alternate sign. So, therefore I can say a will be x1 minus x2 by 2 with a negative sign or I can say it is x2 minus x1 upon 2. This is my term A. When I substitute both of these in equation 1, I will have therefore x is equal to, it is A into zeta, which is x2 minus x1 upon 2 into zeta plus B. B is x1 plus x2 by 2. Now suppose if I take x1 term common, I will have minus zeta by 2 plus 1 by 2 and when I take x2 term common from here I'll have zeta by 2 and here I'll get plus 1 by 2. So this can be rearranged as 1 minus zeta by 2 plus x2 1 plus zeta by 2. Therefore this is my x term and this if I have to write as phi 1 and this I write as phi 2 I can again shorten my equation in this way. So this is actually my x. Now here my phi 1 is 1 minus zeta by 2 and phi 2 is 1 plus zeta by 2. So you have seen how easily I can transform my coordinates from rectangular to natural coordinate system. Next we will talk about an alternate method of deriving shape function. Now when I say alternate method, this is the same in continuation that is transformation. But here I am going to use a technique which I used in the previous session method 2 where I was again talking about alternate method. So I am using the same method here. Uh, first is linear element here, n is 2, so 1 and 2 nodes. At one end zeta is minus 1 and at the other end zeta is 1. So let me take directly shape function a into this node contributes. 1 plus zeta and this node contributes 1 minus zeta. This is my equation 1. If you can recollect from the previous session, please go through that session again for understanding this method better. So I'll write down 
at node 1 phi is equal to phi 1 and the term which has come from this node which is 1 plus zeta this term should vanish therefore phi 1 is equal to a into 1 minus zeta again I write down at node 1 phi 1 is equal to 1 and zeta is equal to minus 1 so when I substitute here therefore 1 is equal to a into 1 plus 1 therefore a is 1 by 2 when I substitute this here I get therefore phi 1 is equal to half into 1 minus zeta or I can say it is 1 minus zeta by 2 if you recollect I just got the same answer next I will talk about node 2 so at node 2 phi will be equal to phi 2 and 1 minus zeta this term will vanish because this node has given me this term Therefore, phi 2 is equal to a into, again I will write down at node 2, phi 2 is equal to 1 and zeta is equal to 1. Therefore, 1 is equal to a into 1 plus 1. Therefore, a is 1 by 2. When I substitute this in this equation, I get therefore phi 2 is equal to 1 plus zeta by 2. Now I got the same answer which I got by the previous method. Next we will talk about quadratic element where n is equal to 3. So I will write down let phi is equal to a into this term contributes 1 plus zeta. This term contributes zeta and this node will contribute 1 minus zeta. Now you can just see that 1, 2 and 3 is written. So be careful when you are solving. This is my equation 1. At node 1 phi is equal to phi 1 and 1 plus zeta this term was given by node 1 so this term vanishes therefore phi 1 is equal to a into zeta and 1 minus zeta again I will write down at node 1 phi 1 is equal to 1 and zeta is equal to minus 1 therefore I will write down 1 is equal to a into minus 1 and then I will have 1 plus 1 therefore a is equal to minus 1 by 2 when I substitute this over here I get therefore phi 1 is equal to minus 1 by 2 zeta and 1 minus zeta so this I can take it inside and I get zeta into zeta minus 1 by 2 as the answer for phi 1 next let's talk about node 2 at node 2 phi will become phi 2 and 1 minus zeta term vanishes therefore phi 2 is equal to a into 1 plus zeta into zeta again I will write down at node 2 phi 2 is equal to 1 and zeta is equal to 1 therefore 1 is equal to a into 1 plus 1 into 1 therefore a is 1 by 2 and I substitute here therefore I get phi 2 is equal to 1 by 2 1 plus zeta into zeta so this becomes zeta into 1 plus zeta by 2 this is my phi 2 term next let's talk about node 3 at node 3 zeta term vanishes and phi will be equal to phi 3 therefore I will write down phi 3 is equal to a into 1 plus zeta into 1 minus zeta again I will write down at node 3 phi 3 is equal to 1 and zeta is equal to 0 so when I substitute here 1 is equal to a into 1 into 1 therefore a is 1 here when I substitute a is 1 I get phi 3 is equal to 1 into 1 plus zeta 1 minus zeta this is a plus b a minus b it is 1 minus a square minus b square therefore phi 3 is 1 minus zeta square so I hope you have understood about natural coordinate system and how to convert rectangular to natural coordinate system in the next session we will see a numerical on this topic so I end the session here see you in the next session thank you